Hello and welcome back to the Yamanote. Alex here and today we are taking a look at the PR mode for Dance at the Go Hasiro Yamanote Sun for the PlayStation 4. Dance at the Go! Dance at the Go! Dance at the Go! go, go. Dance at the Go was released back in 2020 for the PS4 and one of the less documented features is a mode exclusive for the PlayStation VR. This mode allows you to get inside the cab of a commuter train and experience the thrills of the busy line in Tokyo, the Yamanote line. However, is the game worth it just for the VR mode alone? Or if you are a Dango fan, is getting a VR headset really worth it? Well, let's find out. Shupat Shinko! Dance at the Go Hasiro Yamanote Sen is based on the recent train simulation arcade Dance at the Go the latest installment in the long-running game series by Taito. One of the most striking features of the arcade cabinet is a triple display that allows for an extended view of your surroundings, just like a real driver on the train's cab, and the PSVR pushes it even further by putting you inside of the cab, and it really feels like you are right there at the helm of a train driving around Tokyo. The recreation is amazing and the level of detail is outstanding. The interior of the E235 series cap is thoroughly recreated, with all the displays and switches, and even details like the emergency equipment or even the driver's briefcase. <laughs> and it's the same for the surroundings, it's not that it has the general feeling of Tokyo, no. This is a carbon copy of real-life Tokyo with every single recognizable building, bridge and station along the Yamanote line is in the game. The only thing missing are the station melodies, the Ekimelos, and also trains from companies other than JR East. So for instance, you are not going to see the Tokaido Shinkansen, since that train is run by JR Central. Controls are the same as in the main game, with throttle, brakes and everything else controlled by a standard DualShock. The controls are intuitive and easy to pick up, left stick is used for throttle and brakes, and the face buttons are for the lights, horn and confirming. There is no support for move controllers, but if you really want to, there are methods to use the old Dance at the Go controllers or the new one recently released for the Switch. And believe me, with this game, using a dedicated train controller makes all the difference. And although this is a train simulation, the gameplay is more streamlined to suit an arcade experience. You depart each station, confirming that all the doors are closed, and then you are expected to arrive in time to the next station, while complying with the railway signals and regulations. So you have to drive under the changing speed limits, sound the horn when crossing bridges, encountering rail workers or seeing passengers at the platform too close to the track and also dim the lights when crossing with another train and also because you are a nice driver sound the horn for rail fans along the way sometimes you also need to reach a certain speed as indicated by blue signs sometimes even keep it at that required speed in order to get the full bonus points And, of course, you also need to be able to fully stop the train without going too far over the stopping mark or causing discomfort to the passengers by hitting the brakes too hard. All of this gets scored and after the end of the mission, you'll get evaluated and ranked. VR mode also uses the motion tracking capabilities of the PSVR 
to implement the Shisha Kanko, the pointing and calling method used by real drivers. So in order to confirm that all the doors are closed or an upcoming speed limit, you need to actually look at the instrument and press the confirm button. This is fun, although it can be a bit disorienting at first, especially with the closed door slide. Graphics have a lower resolution than regular mode, but other than that, VR mode looks pretty good when compared to the flat mode. It's not about the quality of the graphics, it's more about the hardware limitations of a VR headset that is a bit old by today's standards. The VR mode is based around the Yamanote Line section of arcade mode, and there's a good number of missions divided between two, three, or six stops with four difficulty levels for each mission, but having only the stations available in arcade mode separately limits the length of the game, since arcade mode only has seven of the 30 stations of the Yamanote Line. Also, only the E235 series is available for driving, no E231-500 series, and without any weather elements like rain or snow. That means that if you are looking for a new PlayStation game just for the VR capabilities, it's hard to consider the VR mode of Density Go as a full game in itself. However, if you think this kind of game is something that you are going to enjoy, and there are lots of things to enjoy here, what you are going to find here is an experience like no other game. And pretty fun too, like just check one of my runs and see if train driving around Tokyo, it's something that enticed you. And what if you are a Dengu player? Is the VR headset something you need? Well, maybe it's better to have that money go for a train controller and adapter, either one of the classics or the new one. You are going to get much more use and enjoyment out of it, since you, since you can use it for the whole game. But if you already have a train controller or getting one is too much, oh yeah, go for it, full VR. Especially if you get a good deal on a second-hand headset. Just look at the lenses for any scratches. And I am telling you, the experience of going down the Yamanote line, driving your train, and casually looking to the left and seeing the Nadit Express, so final thoughts, this is a short, extremely short, but sweet, extremely sweet experience. I've played a lot of Dance at Go, but never like this. And I think you should give it a try. And well, I hope that you have enjoyed this review. Thank you again for your support. And next we'll have another run. And until the next time, thank you for traveling with the Yamanote and have a nice rest of your trip. Bye.